Hi, I'm Ben Leichling, president of Bullies Be Gone. We're going to talk about how to get the bullies gone from your life. Specifically, we'll talk about how to stop school bullies by forcing do-nothing principles to protect your children. That's a skill many parents must learn. First, bullies are always 100% at fault, and that never decreases. Kids who act as spectators or cheerleaders and kids who pile on are also at fault. There's more than 100% to go around. The worst are the adults who are responsible for stopping bullying, for creating bully-free schools, but who don't. Let's focus on do-nothing principals who tolerate bullying in their schools. Some principals won't tolerate bullying, but many principals won't act strongly and effectively. Five signs of these do-nothing principles are, one, they do not have school-wide programs, including kids and parents, to stop bullies. There's no training for teachers, administrators, janitors, or bus drivers to recognize the early warning signs of covert and overt bullies, of verbal, emotional, physical, and cyberbullying. Second, even though every kid in school knows who the bullies are and when and where it happens, do-nothing principals make no effort to monitor areas of the school where most of the bullying occurs. They plead ignorance and expect you to provide the proof for them. Third, they think that the best way to stop bullying is through forgiveness, empathy, compassion, understanding, education, and compromise with bullies. They focus on the reasons bullies bully instead of simply stopping them. They think that doing some process counts, but only results count. The results of stopping bullies. The fourth, do nothing principles blame the target, your child. They assume your kids must have done something wrong to antagonize a relentless bully. They don't keep your kids' complaints confidential. Some principles have great sympathy for how hard the bully's life is and how little sympathy they have for your child who is the target. Some principals can't figure out how to stop a relentless bully, so they'd rather look the other way. The fifth, to keep you in the dark, those do-nothing principals plead confidentiality, or they ask you to trust them while they handle the situation. But you see pretty rapidly that the bullying doesn't stop. In these schools, bullying is never one incident. It's a pattern. Relentless bullies know who has the power and what they can get away with. Parents, you have to learn how to force those reluctant principles to act. These do-nothing principles are afraid of two things, publicity and legal action. Often they're afraid of the bullying parents of the bullying kids. You must change that. Since do-nothing principles won't do what's right on their own, you must make them more afraid of you. There are four things you can do to make sure your children are protected. The four things are, first, before there are any incidents, even before school starts, organize a few like-minded parents and start lobbying for a school-wide program, including kids and parents. Get media coverage. Make sure there are legal rules and a legal process. Second, if bullying begins, talk to the principal and staff. Listen carefully for excuses, rationalizations, confessions of ignorance, discussions of what constitutes legal evidence. These are bad signs. Record the conversation. Afterwards, send to everybody a follow-up email listing all the points and the promises made. Third, give the principal and counselors and teachers one chance to stop bullying.
maybe a week or two. Are the bullies removed from classes? Does the bullying stop? Or do they remove your child? Or is your child picked on even more? If, if after a week or so, the bullying doesn't end, you have to act strongly. If the bullying continues, see an expert lawyer. Get an expert coach and start making waves. Contact parents of other kids who are bullied. Contact police. Get publicity from local radio and TV stations. File a lawsuit. Be prepared for a long, ugly fight. Don't be sweet and weak. Be firm. Be courageous, determined, and relentless. Silence, appeasement, wishful thinking, and the golden rule don't stop real bullies. Be effective. Your child's mental, emotional, and physical well-being is at stake. Since all situations are different, please call me at 1-8778-BULLIES. That's 1-8778-BULLIES. So we can create a plan that will be effective in your specific situation.